weird action. <laughs> so we are in line for the COVID testing because Judy and I are feeling like Shit. crap. Body aches, joint aches, headaches, no heartaches, but. Whew. My eyes feel like it's gonna pop out of my head. My head is gonna explode. My muscles are hurting. I'm crossing my fingers hurting. that we just have the flu because I don't want to be dealing with no COVID and I hate being confined anywhere. <sighs> so that's the story right now. The life's not too bad at TJ. Yeah. I did not want to get the rapid test. Yeah. The regular test. I decided to get the rapid test because then I just I uh, analyzed the probability for it. There you are doing the test. Aching right now. What's aching the most for you, dude? My whole body. Hmm. All right. So we tested negative both Judy and I for COVID and also negative for the flu. We thought we had the flu, but uh, ending up realized that we might have leptospirosis because one of the members of our height group has been admitted into our local hospital um, and is being treated with antibiotic antibiotics and he also went on that hike with us. So um, after consulting with uh, um, our clinic, they believe that we have leptospirosis and gave us um, antibiotics. This this one, this kind of antibiotics. And I'm still in pain when we uh, wake up in the morning, Judy and I, oh, the joints ache, muscles ache, everything aches. I mean, it is hard to explain. It's the worst I have ever been sick in my life so they gave us um, antibiotics and also I requested for ibuprofen because of the pain the ibuprofen does help uh, but I'm one of those people who doesn't like taking medicine until I really need it so I kind of use the ibuprofen uh, sparingly um, on this day it's already been four days on this day um, appetite is back, which is I'm really ha I'm happy about that. Can't wait to eat later on today. Uh, the first couple of days, oh, I didn't want to eat anything. Anything made me sick, made me nauseous. I, we didn't, we, we don't have diarrhea. Or we weren't vomiting, but the smell of food is just disgusting. So I'm we're very thankful that we're able to eat now. So we got some electrolytes, electro uh, drinks of electrolytes in that my sister got us. I believe that's helping us. So, leptospirosis, where does it come from? It usually comes from uh, the urine and feces of animals, primarily like pigs and rodents, um, that are deposited usually after a flood. And that's what happened to us. We were caught in a flash flood. Watch this video at Ghost Cave. And I actually took a dunk in the water a couple of times. I know I drank a couple of cups of water out of my lungs because it took two days for all that water to drain out of my lungs. And that's probably how I got it. That's probably how Judy got it, of course, and one of our hiking members. And it really sucks. Um, if you're going through this, uh, I'm there with you. Um, hang in there. I'm dealing with it too. What I'm doing right now is because my joints are really hurting. I'm just kind of like walking around just to get them working. So I don't like staying still. Um, my antibiotics is good for, uh, we take it twice a day and it's for 10 days. So uh, I, I believe it's working already. 
feeling a little better. I don't have the fever. So the first three days, uh, I had a fever. Um, it wasn't too high, but it was enough to uh, concern our clinic. 